Okay, today we're going to go over the basics. What is an expansion joint? Um, what do they do and why you need them? Uh, an expansion joint is a, a separator between slabs of concrete, sometimes made out of wood like this. Other times it's going to be a fiber board that's sort of an asphalt impregnated board that divides up the slabs of concrete in sidewalks and driveways. There's a, a bunch of different reasons why that's done. In, uh, as it's poured, concrete actually shrinks a, a tiny amount, and if you pour giant slabs, then it will literally pull itself apart as it cures, uh, which is not a good thing. Uh, they're also mainly used for uh, accommodating temperature changes, so when it gets really hot in the summer, the concrete will expand a little bit, those joints get smaller. In the winter, the concrete will shrink a little bit, those joints will get larger. Um, now, also, they're there to accommodate any motion due to uh, soil changes, swelling due to water, uh, shrinkage due to drying, uh, roots, movements, all, all the kinds of things that may affect the soil under the slab. This allows these concrete slabs to accommodate that and not get uh, bent and broken up because of uneven soil conditions. So why do we need to maintain these uh, joints? Uh, why not just leave them the way they are? Well, first of all, when they start uh, growing weeds, it looks really bad. You may get a letter from your homeowners association. You may be out there spraying Roundup all the time. Um, and, and that's not good. I mean, putting chemicals on your driveway that are that close to a, uh, a drain and your local watershed is, is not a good thing. So just aesthetics, looks, you don't want your, your uh, front of your house looking like that. Number two will be safety. Uh, these little gaps are going to be hazardous for certain types of people and activities. Uh, scooter wheels are that size, they can easily get caught in there. Canes, high heels, uh, walkers, um, all these things, and just the gaps themselves could be a potential trip hazard. Uh, not to mention if you've got rotting wood in these gaps, people are running, kids running around with bare feet, uh, getting splinters that can get infected. These are all uh, safety reasons why you need to take care of those joints. Uh, the last reason which most people don't even consider is the slab is only as good as the soil beneath it. It is basically sitting on a prepared bed of soil and if that is washed out for any reason, I mean, you could be pressure washing and blowing it out yourself. It can be rain sheeting down the driveway. Um, it could be you know, ants or insects carrying it up from underneath. Uh, none of those things are good for the soil beneath the slab because once it's removed, that slab is now unsupported. The weight of your vehicles will crack it and it'll begin the breakup of your entire driveway, which will be a very high dollar expense. So you wanna maintain these joints uh, largely sealed and that will help maintain the integrity of your driveway. The other type of joint you may run into that's not a, a complete break in the concrete with a, a expansion joint in between is a control joint and uh, you find those a lot of times on sidewalks. It will be a groove. So you might see an expansion joint and then a groove, a groove, a groove and then expansion joint. Those are uh, called control joints and they are just there so that you know that this concrete is gonna crack and you put a defect, a groove in the surface. The concrete's a little thinner there. So when a crack does appear, it's gonna appear at the base of the groove and uh, that way you won't see it. It won't be very noticeable. So you've got expansion joints, very necessary for the integrity of your slab and control joints, which are really just to make any kind of cracking be less noticeable. All right, that's just about everything you need to know about expansion joints and control joints in concrete. Hope this was informative and now you can use that information, move ahead and maintain your concrete to the longest life possible.